You know, here on Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels, we spend a lot of time talking about how to make jewelry. But so many of us love our beads so much, I thought we should talk a little bit about how to bring them into your home. So this chandelier is an idea for how you can use beaded strands to decorate in your house. And it's really simple to put together. Of course, there are lots of different ways that you can make a beaded chandelier, but I have a couple of tips. So what you'll need is some heavy duty wire. And this is really easy to work with, but it has a really nice thickness to it. So you might want like 12, 14 gauge, and remember, the higher the number, actually the thinner the wire. So as you go down in size, or I'm sorry, as you go down in number, you'll be going up in size. So 12 or 14 is pretty thick. I'm using some big mandrel pliers to make a loop. I'm just gonna start making a spiral. So with your pliers, with these cylindrical tips, you can just roll it all the way around. And then you can even just grab this with your fingers and start rolling it up. You could use nylon jaw pliers if you want to, but you're basically just going to maintain that shape of the spiral. Remember, this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it's going to have beads on it and you'll, it will start to blend in. So then what you'll do is take some pliers and make a 90 degree angle above your spiral. And this is just to make a little hanger for adding the beaded strands. Then I like to add a little bit of a touch here with some sparkle. So bring in a bead that has a big enough hole. Remember this is thick wire, so you need beads with big enough holes to fit over it. And you're just gonna make a 90 degree angle again, and then use your pliers. Maybe try using the larger side so that you have a really big loop that will fit over your chandelier. And you could even do this on anything that has place to attach a loop. So then when you're ready to hang this on, you'll also add your end of your beaded strand. And this is a pre-made chain that makes it really quick and easy, but you could also make your own linked beads. Just make sure that your loops are big enough to fit over that wire. And then you'll thread your pieces onto the spiral and then attach this hanger right onto your chandelier. And then for the second strand here, you would just hook that piece onto your spiral as well, threading it around, and then you just connect these all the way around. Now, depending on what type of chandelier you have, you might want to make a second layer. I actually made the lower tier first, and then I thought, you know what, we could do this again. So up here at these attachment points, I just made a smaller spiral and made sure that my beads go down evenly on either side of the wire there on the chandelier itself. Now you can also look at this part right here, and that piece has a dangle here at the top. So I just kind of bring the design up, you know, and you could put a candle in here or you could hook this up for wiring it into your house. Now this is a blank one that I just want to show you a couple of ways to decorate it. You can make dangles or you could even use it as a jewelry display. So for that type of dangle, what you would do is cut a much longer piece of wire and then thread your bead onto the center. And this is 20 gauge wire. You could also use something thinner if you wanted to. And you can use another color to really make it stand out if you want to against your chandelier. Again, use that large part of your bail making pliers. And here you can see I just made a loop. Then I'm going to hold that with my flat nose pliers and then coil my wire around. So this is a different way of making that same dangle idea, but you might even do this with spare beads that you have laying around. This would be a really fun addition to your crafting space. It's maybe for some leftover stash beads even. So this, I'm just gonna messy it up there so that I have a funkier look. And then I have a few of those made. I can hang these onto my chandelier all over. Maybe I wanna go with it here. Just make sure that you make your loops big enough that they fit over the top. So that's another way that you could add some sparkle. And here you could see I hang some of my favorite earrings. I like the idea of keeping your jewelry on display around your house because that way, you know, it doesn't have to be hidden in a drawer. But do remember that this is gonna be exposed to the air. So you might wanna only do this with jewelry that you're really going to be wearing a lot so that it doesn't tarnish if you're going to do it for long-term storage, then you definitely want to keep your jewelry stored flat. And generally, unless it's pearls, you want to put your jewelry into plastic bags. You can put little strips inside so that it will prevent them from tarnishing. With pearls, you don't want to do that because it can harm the surface. But this is a really fun way to just keep jewelry that you wear every day on display around your home. And there are lots of ways that you could decorate your chandeliers. And you could even change it out for the season. So thank you so much for joining us this season on Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels. As you write your color story, please visit our website for more ideas and inspiration. And remember to share your projects on our Facebook page and our other social media sites. Here on Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels, we want to follow your color story as it unfolds.